Today I'm going to be covering the good and the bad about the Galaxy Buds Pro. So stick around and let's get started. Hey, the Galaxy Buds Plus were one of the first true wireless earbuds that I ever owned. And I wasn't really satisfied with them at the time about a year ago because they cost like 150 bucks and I wasn't getting the base that I really wanted. So I went out, I bought a few other pairs of less expensive true wireless earbuds and I ended up st starting this channel about inexpensive true wireless earbuds on my quest to find the perfect pair. Now here I am today, I just bought the $200 Galaxy Buds Pro. The most expensive pair of true wireless earbuds I've bought since starting my channel. But look, I was really, really excited. I'm still, I'm actually really excited to tell you about what I've learned. See what Samsung has changed and improved over the last year with the Buds Pro. This is an earbud that you need to use the Samsung Wear app. Just like a lot of earbuds that I've reviewed lately, you've gotta use the app to really take advantage of the earbuds and their features that they offer. Now if you do that, these are one of the most feature-packed earbuds that you can buy. And if you're a Samsung phone user, then you will have access to even more features. Now, I'm not a Samsung user. I'm not complaining about the features that I do have access to, but for you Samsung owners out there, especially you S21 future owners, here's a simple rundown for you. You're gonna get access to these extra features with the Samsung S21. 360 degree audio with head tracking, so you always stay in the middle of the music. The Samsung seamless Galaxy experience with multiple Galaxy connected devices you're gonna be able to intelligently switch devices that like answer calls and then automatically, seamlessly return to wherever you were watching music. And you're gonna get access to a gaming mode. And man, that irks me because I want gaming mode as a non-Samsung user, but okay, at least it's there for some people. Maybe we'll get a firmware update in the future, who knows? Now, even if you're not a Samsung Galaxy user like me, you're still gonna get access to a lot more features than almost any earbud on the market. So let's run it down. First of all, Samsung improved the case. They made it nice and small. It's a square shape and it is really pocket friendly. It's even more pocket friendly than the Buds Plus capsule shaped case. It fits right in that fifth pocket of your jeans. You're gonna love it. That case uh, charges via USB-C and wirelessly. It is an excellent case and I guess you'd expect that for 200 bucks. These buds last eight hours per charge and 28 hours using the case. It's a little bit lower if you use ANC, right? It's a power hungry concept ANC. There's one light on the case that indicates whether or not you need to charge the buds. When it turns red, charge the case. The Buds Pro have active noise cancellation, which is a big step up over the Galaxy Buds Plus, which only had ambient mode. In the app, you can set two strength levels, like low and high. And um, I, mean, I think this ANC on high setting is almost as good as the one more ANC in the Apollo Bolds, but I think it's like a lot more intelligent. Now, one other thing that I wanna to talk to you about the design of the Buds Pro is that Samsung designed them to reduce occlusion. I call it occlusion, they call it just like that stuffed up feeling in your head, and it works. The design reminds me a lot of how Tranya made the rimmers and the T10s, and you put them in, they just, they, they work. They sit in your ears, they have few contact points with your ears, they're stable, and they just, don't introduce a ton of occlusion inside your ears. And then you crank on that ANC and you're blocking your outside sounds like your refrigerator noises, your fan noises. It's not meant to block out voices, of course, but no ANC really is. And it works really well. Now the next thing I'll tell you about that app is it allows you to turn on something that I think is so cool, but it could also be a negative depending on who you are and that is voice detect. Now with voice detect enabled, the earbuds listen for your voice. When they hear your voice, they're gonna automatically turn on ambient mode and they're gonna lower the volume of your music. <laughs> and then when you stop talking, they're gonna to return to whatever mode you were in before, off or ANC mode after five, 10 or 15 seconds, whichever you select, you can decide in the app. You're gonna to wanna to turn this feature off in the app if you are someone who either talks to yourself, mm -hmm, <laughs> or if you sing to yourself when you play your music like I do. And I learned, I learned pretty quick when I started jamming with these that I started singing and all of a sudden they, uh, they went into ambient mode and lowered the sound of the vo volume. Oh my God, and then I could hear how bad I sing, which I totally don't ever wanna hear, but you know, that's why I wear earbuds. <laughs> okay, but that said, the ambient mode is really useful. 
I mean, when I put it in some of those higher modes, it has like four levels. And if you put it up too high, it does relay too much white noise in my opinion. But I guess there's some reasons why you'd be cranking it up that high in the first place. You'd probably learn to live with it. I put it at some lower settings, and then when it automatically turns on when I start talking, it's actually really, really nice. Now the app has a few other nice features. Obviously it's got several EQ settings that do make a difference and I think you know, you're gonna be able to find one that suits your preferences for music. The app lets you choose the long press action and I'll talk more about that later when I talk about controls. It allows you to lock out the controls, it allows you to find your lost earbuds, it allows you to update the firmware, it allows you to look at an online user manual and whether or not the earbuds will read your notifications out loud. Now these buds, also support AAC for high definition audio, and they provide a really solid video watching experience on the popular apps like Netflix, YouTube, and Disney Plus, but they leave a lot to be desired for gaming if you're not a Samsung user. Here's how my latency test measure the performance of the Buds Pro. Now these are not fast scores on my latency tests, right? I mean, they do seem to work well for movies on the popular apps, but like gaming definitely lags. And I wish Samsung would have put gaming in for everyone and not just Samsung users. And I wasn't able to test it on a Samsung device, but man, I hope they lowered that latency quite a bit in gaming mode for you Samsung users out there because it wasn't really very good in my experience for gaming and even as you can see in the tests. These earbuds have excellent Bluetooth. They connect to my device as soon as I open the case and then it's really solid up to about 38 feet away. They also work in mono mode which is a true mono mode meaning you hear left and right audio out of either earbud but remember because they connect when you open the lid of the case you're gonna have to take one out put it in and close that lid on the case if you want to enable true mono mode on either of the buds. Okay, let's talk about those touch controls, man. It's a bit of a bummer, right? They're kind of a miss for me, right? The touch controls, the long press can be configured in the app. You have to choose between volume, ANC or ambient mode, like a toggle between ANC and ambient mode, but not an off mode, which I think is also another downside, or Spotify. And unlike with the Buds Plus, where they have that sort of cool Wear Labs volume control feature, the Buds Pro don't give you that kind of extra experimental uh, capability to just tap your ears and uh, make the volume go up or down. So you're missing out. Fortunately, Samsung upped the IPX to seven on these, so you really do get worry-free, sweaty workouts, you know, if you're walking in the rain or if you happen to drop them in a puddle or a glass of water or something. Next up, volume. These things do get loud, about 102 decibels on my volume meter, which is really loud, people. The Galaxy Bud Pros are dual driver earbuds. The woofers, as Samsung calls them, are 11 millimeters and the tweeters are six and a half millimeters. Even the tweeters are bigger than a lot of true wireless earbuds out there, even some of my favorites. So what the Bud Pros have over the Buds Plus is that these earbuds have huge bass, especially as you raise the volume. Man, I spent a lot of time listening to these like in normal mode, bass mode and dynamic mode, those EQ settings in the app. And I am telling you, they're all having really excellent bass. And I got to tell you some of the best tuned vocals, mids and highs that I've heard on a pair of true wireless earbuds. Songs like Under Pressure by David Bowie and Queen, you can clearly hear Freddie Mercury's sibilant vocals around two minutes and 39 seconds in there, and David Bowie's vocals still sound great without any sibilance, and the soundstage is fantastic. Next, you go listen to Shakira's Rabiosa. It's another stellar song to listen to the clarity of these earbuds. Then you switch over to like a heavy bass song like Parking Lot Pimpin' by Jay-Z and you crank up the volume just a little bit and the Bud Pros deliver bass that the Bud Plus, Buds Plus never could dream of. This 11 millimeter woofer in these Buds Pros delivers bass. Accurate, punchy, layered, 
powerful bass at volume. It's just really awesome. I'm gonna I mean, just sum it up. These sound freaking fantastic. Man, I rambled on about sound quality. Let's just jump right into the checking out the mics, the six ENC noise canceling mics on the, uh, the Buds Pros. Hello, this is a test call with the Galaxy Buds Pro. And I have like this cool effect of lighting right now that I'm gonna take advantage of. These are an excellent earbud because as soon as I start talking, they go into that kind of side tone mode where I can hear my voice a little bit as part of the phone call and it makes it a lot easier for me to figure out how to modulate the volume of my voice. So I'm looking forward to uh, see how the Buds Plus, excuse me, how the Buds Pro compare to the Buds Plus. Since the uh, Buds Plus were one of the absolute best earbuds that I've tried in terms of microphone quality. So we'll see how the Buds Pro stack up. Hey, based on that test, the Bud Pros seem like a step down from my number one true wireless earbud microphones, the Bud Plus. Now, the Pros, they seem to do okay for taking calls because they picked up my voice, but and they have that wind shield technology, but they didn't do a lot of blocking out of that background noise, not nearly as much as the older Buds Plus did. You know what, let me know what you think of the mic quality and where I should rank them in my mic series playlist. All right, man, I've been going off on a rant. I'm really excited about the Buds Pros, but let's now talk about how I sum it up. Fantastic, fantastic sounding, accurate sounding bass earbud with excellent bass. I'm talking like excellent bass at volume. Lower volumes, not so much, but as you turn it up, bass is fantastic. Great feature set, even for non-Samsung users. Very smart ANC and ambient modes that work really well in like in actual use. And they're great for watching movies. So what do I think could be improved? Hey man, the touch controls at this price point, I don't know what you're doing Samsung, but let us do everything or give us that firmware update to give us the Galaxy Wear Labs uh, capability to touching the edge of the bud, the volume controls. And like, here's a complaint you won't hear from too many people, but I bought the silver earbuds. How the heck was I supposed to know that that was a mirror surface? I can't even take pictures of them for the video. Like, I don't like the mirror surface that much. It could be your thing, it's not really my thing. I mean, I think they probably look fine in my ears, but trying to take pictures of them, what a pain, man, what a pain. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching my review of the Galaxy Buds Pros. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe, everyone.